All right, so you got a goal to make six figures. Obviously, that's a good goal for a lot of reasons. We're not gonna act like $100,000 a year is gonna make you ball in these days, but it is enough money that you can live good, you can live without stress, and you can save money to do the things that you wanna do and retire in comfort. So these are the 10 different paths that you can take in order to achieve that goal. And path number one is the traditional pick a trade and go to college. And we are not gonna spend any time on that one uh, because the reality of it is you probably wouldn't be watching this if you really knew what you wanted to do. So if you wanna be a doctor, if you wanna be an engineer, that's great. Just make sure you love it because we've all heard about the people that go to, you know, to law school and then decide, I don't wanna be an attorney. So forget that path. Path number two is to climb the corporate ladder. And I'm gonna tell you a lot of people out there, especially in the entrepreneur space, think of this as really, a, you know, like who wants to climb the corporate ladder? I'm gonna tell you it's not a horrible option. I've known plenty of successful people. I think about my little sister actually, uh, who just got in with corporations. She just did the right thing. And next thing you know, she's making multiple six figures, doing extremely well for herself. My tip for you on this one, is don't be afraid to negotiate. We live in a different world these days. A corporate job to me is much better than it used to be because of the fact that now, whereas before you had to be in a corporation, be there for 20 years, now it is very normal for people to float in and out of positions. And what that means for you is that you shouldn't be afraid to go and ask for more money and to get that money. So that's the second, that's the most traditional. Beyond that though, option number three, and this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting in my opinion, is to be a commissioned salesperson. Uh, a lot of people out there are like, oh, I don't like sales, I'm not into sales. Well, I'm gonna tell you this first and foremost, there's no more valuable skill that you can learn than learning how to sell. And if you are gonna get into sales, it might not even be something that you know or you're passionate about, but at the end of the day, if you know how to sell, you know how to sell. So if you're gonna take this path, I highly recommend that you invest in training yourself. And here's what I mean by that. I've, I've met so many people who are in sales who the only training that they've got is the on the job training. And there are some absolute masters out there, right? I would learn, I would be reading books. I would be learning from Sandler Sales Institute. Just make sure that you're gonna invest in yourself and really learn the trade. Because if you learn to sell, it's gonna serve you far beyond your sales position. Number four is to have a job and also have a side business. The side hustle has become this common thing. Now, of course, just about any business that you're gonna start, you're gonna wanna start it with a job unless you know, you've know you got enough money saved up to just cut the cord and run. Um, but I say this option number four is, is really the perfect thing to do to follow your passion. So let's just say, for example, you make something, you craft something. You know, selling things on Etsy is a great way to make extra money. Or let's just say you're in health or nutrition. A lot of people will start a multi-level marketing business on the side. And yes, can these things become full-time income and replace your job? Absolutely they can. But what's great about them is you don't have to dive full in. You can actually test the waters and still make your living while you're making the extra money, let's just say you make $50,000, $60,000 at your job, you can get your passion to be able to get you over that six-figure mark until you can get to that point where you're ready to make the dive. All right, option number five is to start a service business. This has become a very popular option for so many people. A lot of people out there are getting started as a consultant or a coach. I'm just gonna say this, right? Like, I know that this is a great business to start for a lot of reasons. For me, if you're gonna coach people or consult people, I think it's because you've got something that you've mastered. Um, I think really another popular business model is people are starting marketing agencies, whether that be advertising or SEO, and that is a wonderful option. In fact, uh, Grant Cardone, when he went on the Undercover Billionaire Show, that was the path that he took because he knew that that was in demand by businesses. Here's what's awesome, and this is the advice that I wanna give you if you do go this route, is that you can sell marketing services, and of course you need to understand what it is that you're selling, but if you're gonna sell services like that, know that you have the ability to outsource the work. So for example, if you're selling advertising services to a company, you don't have to be the person that's doing the advertising. There's a lot of companies out there white label companies or other companies that will actually deliver the service for you. So just know that just because you sell it doesn't mean you have to deliver it. All right, number six 
is to start a physical product business. Maybe you've got a widget or something you wanna build. I can tell you that I dabbled in this. It is not the easiest path, just to be completely upfront with you. Um, what's great about it, the upside is if you create a product that sells, and that product is distributed in all major retail stores, you can get freaking wealthy. Now, I don't say this from experience, I just know because I tried, I developed a board game, for example, and it didn't quite make me rich. Now, here's the beautiful thing about starting a product business these days, is that you can really test the market a lot more than you used to be able to. So if you have a product idea, I highly recommend that you start by using some sort of of uh, you know whether it's Kickstarter or one of those to really be able to crowdfund your project, not only to get the money, but also to find out if, if it's something that people really want. I think that's a very, very big thing. Um, number seven is to start a digital product business. This has been the business that's been the best to me over the years. Maybe you wanna start some kind of software or what's really popular these days, is to start a course or some kind of online training. We've sold millions of dollars worth of, of training and courses through the years. So what I'm gonna say here is that when you've got, even though it's a digital product and you might think to yourself, oh, well, I don't have to spend money to develop it or to you know get it manufactured in China, it still does take a lot of work. So much like you could test a physical product by doing some sort of Kickstarter campaign with a digital product, the way that you can test the market with a digital product is to actually run advertisements. Like go to Facebook and run ads and just see if there's an interest for it. So um, this is something that I learned in the book Lean Startup where he advised that instead of going out and, and building the thing and then hoping that people will come, run an advertisement, create a simple page and find out if people are even willing to click the button to buy the concept of what it is that you wanna teach. So always test first, all right? Number eight to make $100,000 is to become an affiliate marketer. Now an affiliate marketer means that you're selling other people's products and then you're getting paid a commission to do so. So digital products are very big here. Amazon has a massive uh, affiliate program. Um, the thing about uh, if you're selling physical products, generally speaking, they're gonna have much lower commissions. When you're selling digital products, they pay big. Many digital products on uh, different networks like JVZoo and ClickBank can pay 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%. Um, most online marketers will pay 40 or 50%. So just know that you're selling digital products, you have the potential to make much, much higher commissions as an affiliate. Number nine is to become an active investor. All right, you could be a day trader. A lot of people are into crypto, right? Those things, I'm just gonna, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this. Obviously, there's a lot of people that make money doing this. Um, but while it sounds extremely glamorous to be able to, you know, invest money, obviously you start small and then you grow from there. It is something that requires a lot of energy. It's not always as glamorous as it sounds. Um, if there was one kind of investing that I could recommend above all else, just because of my experience, it's no money down real estate investing. Yes, you can flip houses without actually having to buy them. I've done it myself. It really is a, a business model that can work. Ultimately, what you're going to do is you're going to go out, find somebody who's in a, a tough spot, who needs help, and you're gonna then go find somebody who buys houses, probably somebody who either rehabs them or rents them out as a landlord, and you're just gonna connect the two and they get paid in between. Obviously, much more training would be need, needed to do such a thing, but it's very possible it happens every single day all around the world, all right? Number 10, and last but certainly not least, is to make a creative deal. This is where you just put that thinking cap on. Unlike everything else that was starting a business and you know you could go out and just follow a model, I say make a creative deal because the reality of it is in the world there's no playbook that tells you exactly how to do things. And when you're, when you're looking at a situation, whether it's an existing business or a product or whatever it might be, and you see that there's an opportunity for you to leverage a unique skill and turn that skill into more money for the business, just about any kind of company in the world is open to a creative deal as long as it's a win-win. And I've worked with clients, you know, for example, that have got massive businesses, massive audiences, which is something I still don't have. 
Um, and I've looked at that and gone, wow, you've got a huge audience, but I've got the skill. I can help you make millions of dollars more if you'll just cut me off this nice little piece, right? So just know that if there's a will and if there's a skill, then there's a way for you to capitalize on it. In this day and age, there's so many ways. I've just given you the 10 best that I know of to make six figures that you've got absolutely no excuse. The only reason that it wouldn't happen is because you don't make that decision, you don't step up, and you don't follow through. So right there is the top 10. Pick a path, go rock it, and make it happen. This is Matt Lights. I'll see you in the next training. Nice going, champ, but we don't have to stop here. If you want to really be ambitious, click on one of these videos, or if you want to go the extra mile, hover over my head, click on subscribe, and then click the little bell. If you want some free goodies, go to swipemystuff.com, and I'll see you in the next training.